Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your general love reading for mid-October to the end of October 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Sagittarius. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. Alright Sagittarius, let's see what's going on for you. <clears throat> Overall energy for mid-October. Okay, and we have tribe. Okay, so this could be referring to family. Um, but actually what I'm getting is possibly a little bit of wanting to... Um, somebody wanting to conform or sticking to some kind of rules. So we're going to get into this and see what this is about exactly. <clears throat> I feel like this month is a little bit on the intense side, um, a little bit... I feel like harsh messages have been coming through. Um, and a lot of the readings seem to be a little bit um, guidance based, so let's see. What comes through for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Second half of October. Okay, so starting off the reading, we have the Chariot in Reverse, crossed by Death. All right, okay, so Cancer energy as well as Scorpio energy showing up here. Um, something feels like it's a little, either a little bit out of control, maybe. Um, we'll see almost like things are feeling a little bit directionless and it's almost like it's really hard to put a stop to that. We'll see more when we clarify. Um, let me just get the rest of them. Okay. Ooh, Sagittarius. I'm telling you guys, there. This, I feel like spirit is being like relentless um, <clears throat> this month, like just wanting to give out really um, tough messages. I mean, even I know I don't usually um, take reversals for for my zodiac readings. This time I am, but even so, the tower it's upright, all right here, and. As I've been saying for the other um, fire signs, I feel like this this potential outcome it's more of like a like a message, a precaution, so that you know what it is that you can control in this situation in order to prevent this from happening. Even though the tower in this particular case, I feel is something that could be meant to happen, but the way that you experience the tower, it's really going to be in your in your control. Okay, so all right. Let's take it from the beginning. All right, so for your energy here, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse as well as the Page of Wands. I'm getting like um, a, an energy of refocus, like wanting to refocus in some way or another. I feel like you're wanting to refocus away from, <clears throat> from things being rigid. So... Also having the Page of Pentacles in the recent past, I feel like I'm just getting rigidness, that there has been some rigidness, possibly in the way that things were perceived or possibly, you know, just by, by the way that one person was um, <clears throat> behaving in this connection. So I feel like what you are being called to do now or what it is that the energy that you are in is to really release your own guards, um, allow, allow yourself to be vulnerable and to not be so rigid when it comes to what it is that you expect. And I feel like that is what actually you, you are trying to do. Like you're trying to um, not really stick to something that has been traditional or not stick to some specific rules that are set up by I don't know who, either you, the other person, um, mutually between the two of you, by society, by culture, by whatever. Um, for your person, we have the Four of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups also in reverse. 
I feel like this is somebody who at the moment is feeling very restless, has not has not recovered from something. So we'll see. I've, I'm almost getting that this is somebody um, not wanting to get over this connection. We do have the Ace of Cups in reverse though, so we'll see what that's about. It could be that this person is having a hard time really um, getting in touch with their emotions. Possibly even referring to self-love. But it's also coming in as this person not at the moment not really offering not really offering themselves to you okay especially having this knight of swords in reverse also coming up in the near future this is a lot of restless energy it's reminding me a little bit of this chariot which is also in reverse somebody is feeling out of control somebody is feeling reckless somebody's feeling like there's no sense of direction here and i do get the sense that it is um <clears throat> The person that you're that you're dealing with possibly but let's see let's um clarify yeah and all of this is building it's building it's building and it's going to lead to some kind of some kind of a destruction some kind of a major major shift of this energy that is happening right now so let's clarify this chariot with the with death So we have <clears throat> the Ten of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the King of Cups, as well as the Ace of Cups. Okay. And they're all upright. So I definitely feel like there is some kind of some kind of an ending that is surrounding this connection. I don't feel like it has fully completed like it hasn't fully taken form it hasn't fully manifested just yet i feel like it's in it's in that process where it feels like things are ending <clears throat> and this ending is making things feel like it's out of control almost like you don't exactly understand how it is ending why it is ending <clears throat> but it just feels like there is an ending whatever this ending is though it's like there's there's some resistance to it all right, like it's like the both of you actually, I feel, are holding on to this, really holding on tightly. And that's because there is love here, okay? Because now we have the Ace of Cups <clears throat> showing up in showing up upright, as well as the King of Cups. There's a lot of emotions here, there's a lot of love here between you and another person, but there's also some holding on to something that that appears to be ending in a way that just feels to be out of control. Um, it feels a little complicated. I'm not sure if there is a third party involved here because it does feel like two very distinct energies. But we'll see, we'll see. Let me clarify that nine, the seven of wands in reverse for your energy. And we have the King of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like you, <clears throat> there's something here that you were um, being very strict, being very firm about. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. Um, but what, because, I mean, we do need to have boundaries, right? We do need to have standards. But at the same time, I feel like that, that this isn't what it's referring to. It's not referring to that. Yes, of course, you should have boundaries where boundaries need to be set. I feel like this is a little bit of rigidness when it comes to some kind of an expectation for the situation. Yes, we do need to have standards and high standards, right? For other people and how, and how they treat us. But we can't have the expectation that they're going to actually be the way that we want them to be. And then if they're not, and if they don't meet our expectations, well then, or our standards, we don't have to accept them into our lives. <clears throat> so sometimes it can feel like, it's this catch-22 where on the one hand, you want this person in your life, but then on the other hand, you want this person in, the in your life, but with certain conditions, which you might be 100% in the right <laughs> about. But what if that can't happen? We can't, have the, we can't keep holding on to that expectation that this person is going to be what we need them to be or that they're going to do whatever is in you know our highest good or their highest good or 
whatever is needed for this connection to work. And I feel like this is what you are um, processing at the moment and this is what you are working with and you are beginning to be a little bit more flexible, not with other people, not with letting other people walk all over you, but with <clears throat> not holding those expectations and allowing people to be what they are. And if, you know, and then if they're a fit for you, then okay, great. If not, then having to process this this energy or, you know, making a decision for what you want to do next. <clears throat> so let me see this page of wands. All right, we got the nine of wands. So because you're, this is what you're working with, you're trying to move in a, in a new direction. You're trying to refocus your energy and your attention, your focus to <clears throat> a new path, possibly because this person has not met your your expectations or is not meeting your standards or, you know, is not just meeting you halfway. But this is a little bit harder than you had anticipated. I feel like you're still doing it though. I feel like you're doing a good job. So this is like a message for you, you know, to not give up, you know, keep moving in the direction that you that you are trying to move in because this is what is going to help you to be more flexible about allowing things to just be what they are but then you also having your boundaries but not expecting that that's going to actually you know bring a specific result concerning the other person it can only bring a specific result concerning you and your own self and you know what you allow and don't allow and, and having your own self integrity and respect so let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the Four of Swords in reverse. All right, and we have the Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person, <clears throat> I'm sorry I keep clearing my throat. I don't know why this is happening in your reading. Um, this person is still trying to get over this pain. They're not over this pain just yet. It's still there. There is something that they are recovering from though. It's just, there's a lot of restless energy. Let's get one more here. Justice. I feel like this person is really trying to come to terms with decisions that they have made that have actually ended up hurting them. And they're still feeling the pain of their own decisions. And it's like this sense of... Um, Feeling restless, feeling restless because they know that they have not brought justice just yet. They have not been able to make that right. Let's see the Ace of Cups, <clears throat> which is also in reverse there. Okay, so we have the Empress and we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so I'm, I am picking up on, I feel like there's there's another situation here, possibly another relationship. Um, Sagittarius, this is complicated. I feel like for some of you, okay, this doesn't have to be for all of you. For some of you, it could definitely be just, you know, you and another person and that's it. Um, for others of the view, I'm getting that this, um, this death here, this ending, it's surrounding another person, like another commitment for either one of you, but also the connection between you and this person. It's like there's an ending all around. And I feel like with one of these connections, it's, it's something that is done, but it feels like in order to end it, things would just completely go out of control. But because it's not fully closing out, like I said, I feel like this ending, it's like incomplete, like it hasn't fully manifested. I feel like that's also creating some kind of an ending for that person and the other person. <laughs> Was that confusing or what? Um, basically, whoever it is that is involved in two separate relationships, and it could even be the both of you, that person is experiencing an ending for both in different ways, but is experiencing an ending for both. 
And the reason why is because this person is not allowing one of these relationships to fully end. If one of these relationships fully ended, well then it could potentially um, progress in the other relationship. But because they're not allowing it to fully end with one of them, it's like it can't fully progress with the other one and so there's this ending all around. And I feel like one of these connections, um, there's a lot of love, all right? King of Cups and the, and the Ace of Cups here, upright. I feel like the other one is just creating a lot of pain. Um, there's pain just overall, but there's another one that this person, whoever it is, you or them, is holding on to very um, stubbornly. And that's creating a lot of pain overall in the whole situation, okay? And that's what this Ace of Cups in reverse here is, all right? Because I'm getting like a separate energy here. It's like there's this Ace of Cups, but then there's this Empress. Um... Let me get one more here. And again, it, it, that's not going to be the case for all of you. For those of you where it's just the two of you, it's like this person is, like I said, is not able to offer their love at the moment. But still perceiving you as this empress and seeing you as their truth, being fully aware of that. So let me get one more to see why this is. The Ten of Wands. Okay, because... <clears throat> because they feel like there's a lot of responsibilities that are put on them. I'm actually getting with this energy that this is somebody who is trying to carry a much bigger load than they are able to. It's a lot heavier than the capacity that they have to carry this much weight. But it's almost like they don't they don't realize that and they're still trying to carry it anyway. So there's something here where it's like they feel like something is their responsibility when actually it might not be. Or they're feeling like they're feeling like um, the connection with you could be too much of a responsibility than they can handle at the moment. Very interesting reading, Sagittarius. Um, if this resonates, definitely let me know what your situation is to make some sense out of it. Let's see. Let's see that Knight of Swords in reverse coming up in the near future. Ooh. All right, we have the world, the nine of swords, and the knight of swords showing up again. I feel like there, this, one of these endings is taking place. There is some kind of a completion here. A cycle is ending, and it could be... Um, this is actually a little bit ironic, but the way it's coming in is that by you becoming more flexible and less rigid for how you expect things to be, that's actually helping you to release. Because you're not, you're not being flexible in terms of allowing this person to walk all over you. You're not being flexible in, okay, you know, let me still um, give energy to this even if, you know, this person is the way that they are. No, you're being more flexible as in, you know what? I don't care what the outcome is anymore. You know, if I can't do this, I can't do this. I want to refocus in a new direction here. Even if it's hard, I'm not going to give up. I'm still going to keep trying for that. And that energy is actually completing a cycle. I feel like it's closing out an old pattern. And that, like it's, it's just so much more genuine this time around because because it's like, it's very real, <laughs> all right? You're do, it's like you're doing this for the right reasons because you're finally becoming flexible that, you know what, if this isn't meant to be, then it's not meant to be. That's fine. I'm just gonna go with that. That's the type of flexibility that you are um, adopting 
in your attitude and in the way that you perceive things. And that's actually closing out a cycle which is causing this person a lot of stress now. A lot of stress and it's making them feel like, yeah, like things are out of control. Like they don't know wh what's going on. They don't know where things are going and it's actually pushing them to take some action here. Okay. So let's see that tower because, yeah, I feel like that's just going to really create... <laughs> It's going to create an upheaval. Let's clarify power. Because I'm telling you, I don't, I don't feel like this tower is going to be um, negative, for you at least. Let me just get one more. All right, so we have the Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Hanged Man all in reverse here. Okay, so this tower, it's pretty much destroying. I feel like it's bringing up all of these issues concerning love, concerning um, relationships, concerning feelings, concerning stagnancy, concerning waiting, um, procrastinating. It's bringing all of these issues up into the air to be completely questioned and like re-looked at. Um, I feel like this tower is going to pretty much bring an end to this waiting, to the stagnation, to the stuckness. Whoever it is that was avoiding the Two of Cups, whoever it is that was avoiding their emotions, not listening to their intuition, stagnating because of that, staying stuck in a situation. The tower, it's like it's coming in to pretty much destroy all of that and bring all of that up to the surface to be looked at. And that's, again, because you're not following, following the rules, which these rules could just be, you know, the patterns that you had been um, following. All right, Sagittarius, if this resonated, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And let's get the final message for you. And we got two. We have the full moon eclipse, conclusions are within reach, and the full moon in Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches. All right, that's like double confirmation here. That cycle is ending because you decided to end things to change the way that you perceive it. And it's not even about cutting this person off. It's about being flexible with what you are expecting from this, from the outcome. All right, Sagittarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.